Hello, and welcome to Gitsi's Orchestrating Opportunities Benefit. I'm Megan Balda, Gitsi's Executive Director. Many of you would normally be joining us here at Orchestra Hall, but I'm so glad that we can still connect virtually. It's an honor to be with you, Gitsi's families, alumni, and friends near and far as we come together tonight to celebrate our students' resilience and to support this wonderful organization. It's especially meaningful on the eve of our 50th anniversary season and as we approach the end of an impactful year of programming during the pandemic. Obviously, COVID's impact has been life-changing, and that's especially true for children, including Gitsi students. Last summer, we repeatedly heard from parents how isolation was taking a toll on students' mental health and emotional well-being. We received pleas from families to resume in-person rehearsals in the fall so students could reconnect. We heard from families who desperately wanted to play an orchestra but simply couldn't. We also heard from families who were struggling to make ends meet after losing their jobs due to COVID. We knew that music is a vital way to help students cope during hard times, and creating community was more important than ever, especially when most schools and other youth activities weren't meeting in person. So our small team sprang to action. That's what we do. We worked tirelessly to reinvent nearly every aspect of our program to safely meet students' needs. The result was a pretty tremendous feat. Starting last September, we launched in-person rehearsals for all 10 orchestras, including our new Concertino East Orchestra in St. Paul and our Harmony Strings Instruction Program. We also created a live stream of every rehearsal so students could participate from home if they wanted. And we increased our commitment to access, dedicating $140,000 for tuition assistance and private lessons. These actions meant that every interested student could participate in Gitsies this year in a way that aligned with their comfort level. Enrollment has remained strong with nearly 700 students who are overwhelmingly grateful for the opportunity to make music together. We're now gearing up for filmed recordings at Orchestra Hall uh, for all 10 orchestras and harmony in May, and we're launching new summer camps in July. All of this while we focus on a bright future that prioritizes equity, diversity, and inclusion. None of this would be possible without our wonderful community of donors for whom we are grateful. Parents, grandparents, alumni, and other friends have come together with tremendous generosity already this year. Thank you. I also want to recognize our presenting and signature sponsors for their support tonight, including Shattuck's St. Mary's School, Colin Doherty and Elizabeth Edblom, and Classical MPR. Our work is not done though, and that's why we are here tonight. Orchestrating Opportunities is our most critical fundraiser of the year. So as we take you behind the scenes and highlight student stories, please consider making a gift this evening. Your gift will support tuition assistance and keep the music going for current and future students. Contribute through our website at kitsies.org slash donate. Thank you again for joining us tonight and enjoy the program. Almost everybody here plays together and like when we have like mistakes on violin, the teachers help us out. So that's what I like about the harmony and gitsies. Music means to me that it's just like, it just, it's calm and it's just fun for me to play. I like orchestra because I like music. I like that it's calming and smooth. I've never played an instrument before and I really wanted to play something give me something to entertain myself. I think that Gitsies means to me, it's part of my weekly schedule. You know, I go to Gitsies on Tuesday and I play with the rest of the orchestra. It's really just a stable thing in my life that I can have fun with. I can make music and I can have so much fun. Music, it means something very deep for me. It's, it's the language of emotion. Um, the language of love. It's, 
It's beautiful, it can make you feel sad, happy, angry, and it can communicate things beyond words. Especially during COVID, when everyone's so isolated, it's really nice to have a kind of community where you can just go and hang out with real people, even if we're distanced and wearing masks. I go to school online too, so I don't really get that kind of social interaction with my friends and stuff. So it's really nice to have, especially now. I love playing music because it's a form of self-expression. Everyone has their different kind of style and how they play, and it's really nice to see and hear that because you get to learn a little bit about them as people. My favorite thing about Gitsies is has got to be the community and the people that I've met along the way, as well as creating some really wonderful art with really talented musicians. It's definitely been harder, but um, I would say that it's helped me really just keep up my love for music during these hard times and give me something that I'm passionate about that I can look forward to every week. One of the fundamentals that students learn in Gitsies is that we can do hard things. Playing an instrument is hard, and it's no surprise that this year has been exceptionally hard. Our students have risen to the occasion and demonstrated week after week that they can do hard things. They wait patiently in line six feet apart to enter rehearsal. They play with masks and instrument coverings. They zoom into rehearsal and persevere when technology isn't perfect. They have learned how to communicate across the distance when hugs and traditional team building activities haven't been possible. They have worked hard to create beautiful music and joy under difficult and often sad circumstances. They inspire us every day with their resilience and hope, and they remind us that they are our future. Though most won't become professional musicians, what they are learning in Gitsies now, especially during COVID, will shape their lives in lifelong ways. Because of this transformative, lifelong impact, we believe that every young person should have the opportunity to participate in Gitsies, regardless of their background. That is why I'm asking you tonight to support our students and their futures with a gift to Gitsies. Your gift of any size will help us provide tuition assistance so that cost is never a barrier for participation. Your generosity will also help us continue adapting our programs to meet students' needs. Gitsies is fueled by your generosity and your commitment to our mission. Thank you for giving the gift of music this evening and helping us create opportunities for more students. I'm Mary Sorley and I conduct Philharmonia and am director of the Harmony Program. So the Harmony Program is giving these students, the students in the program, the opportunity to first of all learn an instrument, to learn the skills, and once they've um, attained a certain proficiency, then those students are able to audition for Philharmonia. And we've had several students who've not only made that um, step, big step into Philharmonia, but several are making it earlier than we ever anticipated. And that's the wonderful thing about these kids, seeing their motivation to move and progress with what they're learning on their instrument. The wonderful thing about Harmony is that these kids are learning not only their instrument, but they're also learning other skills, just how to be really great human beings with what they're learning through their instrument. So once they're in the Harmony program, they have the ability to audition for Philharmonia and continue that progression through the Gitsies orchestras. We anticipate this next year that we'll have several students moving to the next orchestra, which is so exciting to see, thinking of our first class of 15 Harmony students, and now we've got 15 alone in Philharmonia, which is just really thrilling to see. So the progression is harmony, Philharmonia, and at whatever level they are ready to move on to. And we would love to see that all the way to the top, all the way on a tour and beyond. Harmony is providing these students not only with the opportunity to play an instrument, but providing everything that goes along with that. The instruments, the instruction, uh, any other accessories or things that they might need, as well as opportunities. They have the opportunity to play with their harmony class, to audition for and excel into a Gitsies orchestra, but they're also getting so many other opportunities. We, this past year, have two partnerships with the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra doing some mentoring, as well as the Lyra Baroque doing some mentoring. And for these students to have these opportunities and that there really are no barriers. We want no financial barriers, any barriers, so that these students can all have the option, the opportunity to participate in this.
I think the most wonderful thing about Gitsy's this past year has been that it's been a connection for kids. I think it's been a connection for me as well. Um, these students have had so much loss this year. They've lost school time with their friends. They've lost activities, sporting activities, other extracurricular activities. There's just a lot of loss that has happened. And I think the one thing that Gitsy's has done is it's created a way for them to communicate with others through music and for them to make connections, albeit six feet apart. We're still making human connections, which is so vital during this time. And I think that's given me such great hope. My name is Ernesto Stigarribia, and I am the conductor of Gitsis Sinfonia East. Access to a quality music education, learning to play an instrument, being part of an orchestra are such transformative experiences for a child. I grew up in a working class family. If it hadn't been for the access to an affordable quality music education in a rigorous orchestral program, I wouldn't make a career in music as I am today. I am so grateful to Gitsis for its investment in the youth of our community. In Gitsis, we are more committed than ever to serving children of underrepresented backgrounds. Investing in the youth of our community makes our entire society stronger. In Gitsis, our students not only perform great music, but also learn to work as a team, be disciplined and accountable, all essential skills of functional members of society. We believe that everyone should have equal access to these experiences and thus have a more fulfilling and richer life. Thank you for your support. Hi, my name is Tamara Gonzalez and I'm the conductor of Concertino East, the newest orchestra in the Gitsis family. We're really excited to be in the East St. Paul metro area and to increase access to the students that live closer by to this neighborhood and getting to work with these great kids. Getting to make live music with the Concertino East musicians has been one of the greatest highlights of this really difficult time during the pandemic. It's been a wonderful experience for the students to come together. Uh, even though we're socially distanced and with masks, they're getting to know each other, they're experiencing uh, different types of music together and they're getting better, which is really exciting, is to hear their progress from week to week. I'm really passionate about the equity, diversity, and inclusion work that Gitsis is involved with because it touches me personally. Um, I got involved in, in music and studying music through an accessibility effort on the part of my school. There was a Suzuki violin teacher at our school that taught lessons right there, and there was a string quartet that came and played for us and really inspired me and my siblings to eventually become professional musicians ourselves. I'm excited to be part of the movement to plant these seeds of inspiration in this next generation of potential musicians. These could be the next classical music concert goers or donors or just music aficionados. And it's great that we're getting to work with students that would otherwise not be able to benefit from our programming. Music is powerful. Music is language, music is expression, and everyone deserves access to these vehicles of self-expression. And it's really great to be part of an organization that's really committed to increasing access to quality music education and ensemble playing experiences, that we value every member of our community equally and that everyone it can be potentially part of the bigger Gitsis family. I'm Mark Russell Smith, the artistic director of Gitsis and conductor of Gitsis Symphony. Well, to put it mildly, it's been a year like no other and it really, I think for all of us, not just for the conductors, but also certainly for the students as well, gives us pause to reflect on the arts 
and the value of music and the value of playing music together. And I think a year like we've been through really reinforces just how crucial the arts are and how integral they are to humanness. Um, absolutely, one of the highlights of my week, week in and week out of, of this year has been to commune and to make music with, with Gitsi students. And so many of them have told me that the opportunity to actually be together and to play music together and interact, albeit socially distanced and incredibly safe with, with all the, the uh, precautions that, that have to be taken. It is so meaningful. And now to be, to be able at the end of the year to create, recreate great works and to work together, it really is a highlight. And, and you know, it's not an understatement to say it really got us through the year. While certainly an important aspect of Gitsi's is performing together and learning music, it is absolutely much, much bigger than that. When we in symphony and in all of the orchestras study a piece of music, it is also a study in how to be part of a community and how to be part of something bigger than yourself. It's a lesson in getting along. It's a lesson in giving and taking. So while performances are certainly important, for me, it's so much more of the journey and teaching the students and, and giving them responsibilities. They're responsible to prepare their parts principals are responsible to lead their sections. It's not just coming from the podium. I absolutely expect it to come from everyone. And so that, of course, is a, is a huge lesson as well, that it, it's not just from the top, but, it, but it's everybody working together to create something. And maybe the biggest lesson is about personal responsibility, that each person has been endowed with gifts of, of one sort of another and, and how that person uses those gifts and, and how the arts and how all of these skills that people are learning at Gitsis come into play in helping them understand their value and helping them create a, a better world. The need for scholarships is huge and the need to create equity and to open up all of the wonderful opportunities that Gitsis affords is critical. And of course it costs money. And we are so deeply committed to having that accessible to everyone, no matter their socioeconomic station. We believe in the power of music and the power of togetherness and all of these great things that the, the Gitsis and studying music teaches. And we passionately want to share that with everyone. And these scholarships are just an integral part of that. It, it couldn't happen without that. And I'm just so proud to be the leader of this organization that takes that commitment very, very seriously. And now to see the beginnings of the fruits of, of, of that investment. And I hope it's, I, I know that it will be just the start of, of great, great things for the future.
Hello, my name is Maurice Holloman, and I'm the Vice President of Gitsy's Board of Directors. My friends and family know that I don't have any musical talent, but I do enjoy music. I enjoy Gitsy's because of what it does for our students. The musical lessons they learn are terrific, and the performances are wonderful. But I especially value the youth development aspect and the educational process. I've seen how our students come together at the beginning of the year. They're seeing the music and peers for the first time. Everyone is a bit uncertain, and it's a little chaotic at first. But with the guidance of our fantastic conductors, week after week, the process works. Students work together to create music and create a strong sense of community. Through that process, students learn teamwork, discipline, problem solving, and creativity, which they carry with them long after Gitsis. I also appreciate how Gitsis is making steady strides to break down barriers so more students have access to our programs and know they have a place in Gitsis. Providing tuition assistance is critical, and it's equally important to create opportunities for first-time students and provide a pathway so they can excel, like we're doing with Harmony. I hope you're inspired and will join me in making a gift. These students are our future, our future leaders, our future workforce, our future audience members, and our future musicians. With your help, we can make sure that every student has the opportunity to find their place in Gitsis and benefit in lifelong ways. This is more important than ever during COVID. On behalf of the Gitsis board, thank you for supporting these wonderful young musicians. Hello, uh, my name is Destiny Miller, and I've had the opportunity to play the double bass in Gitsis for the last four years. Gitsis has been what I would call a blessing. It has given me the opportunity to have an outlet for my everyday life, such as school, home, and the thousands of emotions that tend to stay bottled up inside, unable to form just the right words in order to express themselves for those that don't understand the things I try to speak out loud. And Gitsis has been able to give me the voice that people don't hear by the text that comes from our mouth, but by the music played in a room filled with color and soul. I started playing the bass, the upright bass, at the age of eight, becoming attracted to the way it communicated back and forth with the other instruments in the orchestra, as if it was having its own conversation with each other in such a beautiful and harmonious way that left my soul aching for more. I joined Philharmonia East my first year and moved up to Symphonia and Camerata before joining Concert Orchestra this year. After the first couple of years being in Gitsis, I had soon understood what it meant to be a musician. Gitsis has taught me that accomplishments don't come from the hard work that wasn't measly earned by just a few practices here and there overlooking your sheet music. It is earned by enduring the many moments of frustration. It is a self-taught discipline, the long hours of practice, and the never-ending struggle starting over again and again to have it sound to, our, to the best of our ability. But the most important key of becoming a musician is never giving up. There have been so many times where I felt as if I could quit at any moment, especially during this year through COVID, that really made playing your instrument unappetizing and severely unmotivating. Though, when being faced with this predicament, I try to remember why I've come this far in the first place. The spark that started it all. Without Gitsies, I wouldn't have been able to learn how to work together as a full orchestra than before focusing on what I originally thought was important. I wouldn't have been able to have the amazing opportunity to work with professional musicians to tutor me, helping me consistently push myself past boundaries that were un once unreachable in my eyes that I thought was impossible. COVID has shown me just how important it is to keep fighting through the struggle of wanting to give up. I am sincerely looking forward to get to you after COVID improves, as I miss playing and seeing everybody together. Once again, as I am also excited to see everybody back to our so-called normal. Gitsis is a part of who I am as a person and has given me the most wonderful experiences that I will forever 
ever be grateful for. I am grateful to the Gitsus community of the donors who help make these experiences possible for me and hundreds of other students each year. Thank you so much. Well, the music and our students are our inspiration, and I hope they have been your inspiration to give. We are so grateful for your support, and it couldn't happen without you. Thank you so much for all that you do for Gitsies, and help us keep the journey going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting Gitsies. Thank you for supporting Harmony. Thank you for making scholarships possible. Thank you for helping Gitsies make future musicians. Thank you again for tuning in tonight. We hope you were inspired by our students' resilience and their passion for music making. If you know a young person who would benefit from participation in Gitsies, I hope you will please encourage them to audition for one of our orchestras or join one of our summer camps. To all of tonight's supporters and sponsors, thank you for your generosity. Every gift makes a difference and we are so grateful for your support. As we look ahead to next year's 50th anniversary season, we will remain steadfast in our commitment to provide high quality programming and expand access for more young people from all backgrounds. We look forward to celebrating Gitsi's history and looking ahead to our future with you in person and online next season with our anniversary celebrations. Until then, thank you again and good night.